newly unveiled sixth-generation fighter by China's Chengdu Aircraft Corporation, tentatively named the J-36. We follow up today with more information and discussion about the aircraft and about sixth-generation fighters more generally. To begin, take a look at this very helpful analysis by a PLA watcher named Jason. He did some really useful identification of the J-36 subsystems using the available images. According to Jason, the plane appears to have side-facing active electronically scanned array or ASAR radar on the chine. There appears to be two pairs of two apertures, one large and one small. These could be two different arrays of different radar bandwidth, or it could be that a smaller array is a data link for communicating with other assets. It's unclear if the J-36 has a radar in the traditional location, which is the plane's nose. The J-36 has some very large and shiny apertures on both sides of the chin. This is likely a pair of infrared optical windows for infrared sensors, which are coated in radiation absorbent materials, which is why it's so shiny. The coating is of course to maintain the stealth capability of the J-36 to ensure it's not compromised by the window. Jason then went on to speculate that the infrared sensors could be highly useful and important against high-performing stealth aircraft, like the B-21, the future US Air Force NGAD, and the current fifth-generation fighters. We then went on to discuss the air intakes of the three engines, and what they could mean for the overall speed requirement. Firstly, the ventral intakes of the two side-mounted engines, so on the bottom of the fuselage, are carrot intakes similar to the F-22 carrot intakes. This likely reflects a very high speed requirement for super cruising, in excess of Mach 2, or twice the speed of sound, especially if we are talking about high-altitude cruising, where the air is thin and it's a lot easier to move quickly. At this speed, the common divertorless supersonic inlet air intakes are not all that efficient, so it's probable that the two side engines are for high supersonic flight. The middle engine has a dorsal intake, which is likely to be a more traditional divertorless supersonic inlet, and could be for lower speed cruising. In terms of stealth capability, Jason makes the point that the 6th generation fighters are superior to 5th generation in the sense that they are expected to remain stealthy under a wider range of circumstances and conditions. 6th generation combat aircraft like the B-21 and the NGAD are targeting all aspects broadband stealth. All aspects means th that the aircraft remain stealthy from all directions, whether from the front the flanks, and the rear. Broadband stealth means the fighter remains stealthy against radar systems of a wider range of different bandwidths, or at least the bandwidths that are relevant for military applications. This includes higher frequency bandwidths like the X-band radar that are common for fire control purposes and lower frequency radar suitable for longer range detection. This all aspect Broadband stealth of 6th gen fighters stands in contrast to 5th generation fighters, which generally emphasize frontal aspect stealth and stealth against higher frequency, higher bandwidth radar systems.